What I want to talk about is a new test we're developing to study patients' blood and find out the genotype of their tumor. Genotyping is this important new biomarker we use for all lung cancer patients. Everyone should be tested for EGFR and for ALK mutations because if they have an EGFR mutation, they should get an EGFR inhibitor. If they have an ALK mutation, they should get an ALK inhibitor. The problem being genotyping requires tumor tissue. And it's not always that easy. Sometimes the, the biopsy is too small. Sometimes the tumor is stuck in the prior hospital you were being treated at a month ago, uh, the city next door. And sometimes we as the oncologist can't get that information that we want, which is what is the patient's genotype. What we need is a new non-invasive way of figuring out the biology of a patient's cancer without having to stick a needle into it and get a new piece of tumor. We've been studying for a while um, floating circulating tumor cells. And those technologies were exciting. They're, they're not panning out. We need a new way of doing this. And what we've developed is a way of testing the floating DNA that's in a patient's blood, cell-free tumor DNA. What we do is we collect the blood, we remove the DNA. That DNA is mostly the patient's DNA, but every so often, one in a thousand DNA molecules is the tumor's DNA. And we sift that through a machine that looks at each molecule one by one and tests each one for this mutation. 20,000 reactions. And what it finds is that in a patient who has an EGFR mutation in their tumor, you can detect that in floating in the blood 70, 80% of the time, and therefore can figure out the patient's biology, the patient's genotype, without having to get a biopsy. This is still a research test, but it is definitely coming, and it is gonna change care in the next couple years. And so we're building clinical trials to study this prospectively, to put it into a, the pathology lab, so actually when a patient comes to see me, I can check their blood and figure out what should their treatment be next. Right now, we've just developed our initial preliminary data. We've published that in clinical cancer research last month, uh, and we are now starting a prospective trial to consent patients and test their blood at the same time as testing tumor to assure that we're actually as accurate as we think. In the next six to 12 months, we're gonna move this assay into the pathology lab, and we envision starting a clinical trial within the year of, based on the plasma result, starting the drug and not waiting for the biopsy. Skip the lung biopsy, that's the idea. And so I think in the next year, we will be using this to make clinical decision making. This is particularly important for those patients who need a rebiopsy for resistance. You've been on a drug for a year or two, you now need a new biopsy to pick your next direction. If we could instead skip that extra biopsy and get a blood test, and I don't think we're gonna eliminate all the biopsies, but for a subset of patients, that blood test will tell us which way to go in advance of the biopsy and allow you to move to your next direction and save that biopsy for later perhaps. But you're right, in the resistance space, that's where this test has the most potential to change care. I've been taking care of patients for a while and I am frustrated at how hard it is to get the tissue. I mean, even when the pathology slides are in the hospital next door and they just won't send the slides to me so I can get them tested. Right? The whole process of ordering the slides, getting them cut, getting them sent to my lab, get, getting my lab to extract the DNA, process it, produce a result, that takes three, four weeks. I want the result now. And so it's the clinical need of saying, look, you and me patient, we're just gonna take the blood, send it to the lab, cut out this whole pathology part, and get the result to inform you. I want a test that gives me results in two, three days. That's personalized medicine. And so it's that need that has led to us to develop this tool.